Hello dear children today we will do exercise 5.6 of unit 5 that is multiplication and we are going to do the first five statement sums of this exercise for today so let us read the first question there are 125 troops of soldiers in a cantonment if there are 425 soldiers in each troop find the total number of soldiers in that cantonment so in a cantonment there are 125 troops okay and in each troop there are 425 soldiers see there are so many uh, units in a cantonment fine and in each unit there are so many companies okay so likewise there are 125 troops so if in one troop there are 425 soldiers so we have to find out how many soldiers are there in 125 troops and that will be the number of soldiers in the cantonment so let us frame the solution statement troops of soldiers in a cantonment 125 then soldiers in each troop it is also given to us therefore total number of soldiers in the cantonment means 125 troops so 125 multiply by 425 now let us multiply it 125 multiply by 425 now let us multiply the ones 55s are 25 2 will get carried over now 52s are 10 plus 2 carry will be 12 and again 1 will get carried over so 51s are 5 plus 1 carry will be 6 Now let us put a cross here, and it is the turn of the digit at the tens place. Now two fives are ten, and one will get carried over to the next place. Two twos are four plus one carry is five, and two ones are two. Now let us put two cross here because it is the turn of the digit at the hundreds place. Four fives are twenty. Two will get carried over to the next place. Now four twos are eight plus two will be ten, and again one will get carried over to the next place. Now four ones are four, and one carry will be five. Now let us add the partial products. Here we have five, then two, then six plus five eleven. One will get carried over to the next place. Two plus one carry will be three, and here we have five. Therefore, there are five three one two five means fifty three thousand one hundred and twenty five soldiers in the cantonment. So, the number of soldiers that will be there in one twenty five troops that will be the number of soldiers in the cantonment. Now, question number two. A basket contains two thirty nine mangoes. It means in one basket there are two thirty nine mangoes. Find the total number of mangoes in three hundred and five baskets. So, if in one basket there are two thirty nine mangoes, we can easily find mangoes in three hundred and five baskets by multiplying. So, let us frame the solution statement. Mangoes in a basket. It is two thirty nine. Therefore, the total number of mangoes in three hundred and five baskets is two thirty nine multiply by three hundred and five. Now let us multiply two thirty nine by three hundred and five. So five nines are forty five. Four will get carried over here. Now five threes are fifteen plus four is nineteen. Again, one will get carried over. So five twos are ten plus one carry is eleven. Now let us put a cross here. Zero nines are zero, zero threes are zero, and zero twos are zero. Now let us put two cross because it is the turn of the digit at the hundreds place. So three nines are twenty-seven. Two will get carried over to the next place. Three threes are nine plus two is eleven. So again, one will get carried over to the next place. Now three twos are six plus one carry. Is seven. Now let us add the partial products. Here we have five, then nine, then one plus seven is eight. One plus one two, and here we have seven. Therefore, there are seventy two thousand eight hundred and ninety five mangoes in three hundred and five baskets. Because if mangoes in one basket is given, we can multiply it by three hundred and five, and we will come to know that how many mangoes are there in three hundred and five baskets. Now the next question, question number three. Fifty-three passengers can sit in a bus. Means in one bus only fifty-three passengers can sit because the capacity of the bus is that much only. So how many passengers will sit in four twenty-six buses? If we know that the number of passengers that can sit in one bus, we can easily find the number of passengers that will be able to sit in four twenty-six such buses. So let us see the solution statements for it. 
passengers that can sit in a bus means in one bus 53 therefore this is the symbol of therefore passengers that will sit in 426 buses is 426 multiply by 53 see here you can change the order of the numbers then also the product will remain same because it is one of the properties of multiplication that when we change the order of numbers then also the answer remains the same so 426 multiply by 53 now 36 are 18 one will get carried over to the next place 32 are 6 plus 1 carry is 7 And three fours are twelve. Now let us put a cross here. Five six are thirty. Three will get carried over to the next place. Five twos are ten plus three is thirteen, and one will get carried over to the next place. Now five fours are twenty plus one is twenty. One. Now let us add the partial products. Now here we have eight, then seven, then two plus three is five. One plus one is two, and here we have two. Therefore, we can say twenty-two thousand five hundred and seventy-eight passengers will sit in four twenty-six buses. Now the next question is question number four. How much money was collected by two hundred students in a school for drought relief fund if each student collected rupees four hundred and twelve? See, there are two hundred students in a school, and each student, each one student, collected four hundred and twelve. rupees so if one student collected or we can say every student collected 412 rupees so if we will multiply it by the total number of students we will come to know that how much money was collected by the whole school means by all the students so let us write the solution statement money collected by each student rupees 412 therefore money collected by 200 students means 412 multiply by 200 so let us multiply it here 412 multiply by 200 now 0 2 are 0 0 1 0 and 0 4 are 0 now let us put a cross here because it is the turn of the digit at the tens place now again 0 2 are 0 0 1 0 and 0 4 are 0 because it is one of the properties of multiplication that whenever we multiply a number by 0 the answer is always 0 now let us put two cross here because it is the turn of the digit at the hundreds place 2 2s are 4 2 1s are 2 and 2 4s are 8 now let us add the partial products here we have 0 0 here we have 4 here 2 and here we have 8 Therefore, we can say money collected by two hundred and two hundred students is rupees eighty two thousand four hundred. Because if money collected by one student is known to us, and everybody has collected the same amount, so we can easily find money collected by two hundred students. Now, question number five: the price of a book is rupees forty eight. Find the price of such four eighty five books. If the price of one book is known to us, we can easily find the price of such four eighty five books. Because if the price of your one maths book is rupees one twenty, so you can easily find the price of maths books of class four. If the number of books is five hundred or two hundred, so the price will remain same. Only you have to multiply that price with the number of books. So let us see the solution statement. The price of a book is rupees forty eight. Therefore, the price of such four eighty five books is equals to four eighty five multiplied by rupees forty eight. Now here, let us multiply four eighty five by forty eight. Now eight fives are forty. Four will get carried over to the next place. Eight eights are sixty four plus this four carry will be sixty eight. And six will get carried over to the next place. Now eight fours are thirty two. Thirty two plus six is thirty eight. Now let us put a cross here because it is the turn of the digit at the tens place. Now four fives are twenty. So two will get carried over to the next place. Four eights are thirty two plus this two carry will be thirty four. So here we will write four and three will get carried over to the next place. Now four fours are sixteen plus three carry will be nineteen. Now let us add these partial products here. we have 0 8 then 8 plus 4 is 12 so 1 will get carried over 
थ्री प्लस नाइन इज ट्वेल्व प्लस वन कैरी इज थर्टीन अगेन वन विल गेट कैरीड ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट प्लेस सो वन प्लस दिस कैरी इज टू दे आर फोर द प्राइस ऑफ फोर एटी फाइव बुक्स इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट वन थिंग इज गिवेन टू अर्स सो वी कैन इजिली फाइंड द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट more than such more than one such things by multiplying the information of one thing by the number of things so i hope you would have understood all the five questions which we have done today thank you it's caught in the crossfire